Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a dodge and roll system in Unreal Engine 4. So in this one I'm just going to be doing the roll animations, however what we're going to have is I'll actually get in and show you if we're walking forwards we can roll forwards right or roll right, backwards we'll roll backwards, I'll talk about that animation in a second, and left we'll roll left. And this also works diagonally as well, we can roll forward, backwards, left and right and diagonally in all, in all those directions as well. So this works perfectly. And we're doing this by holding either W, A, S and D and pressing space. And so space is jump, so if we're not moving we can still jump perfectly like so. And now the backwards animation is like that and I believe that might just be because of this directional movement system which I've set up here. So obviously you can customize it a little bit, change the values, maybe make the animation look a bit smoother or just remove the backwards animation completely if you don't like that. And the animations I'm going to be using to do this are on the Unreal Marketplace for free. So let me try and load it up. So it's the rolls and dodge animation set here, which is free. And I'll leave a link in the description down below to where you can download these from. And with these, they are both root motion and in place, which is perfect for how we want to do this. And you can see here all the different animations which we get. So like I say, I'm going to be using this. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So the first step you're going to want to take is you want to obviously get these animations. So again, I'm using this pack and they'll be put under rolls and dodges here under animations and in place and what I've done is I've retargeted these to the character mesh which I'm using which is obviously the mannequin so that was very easy to do I just opened up the retarget manager set it to humanoid and then that's done perfectly and I do have a video on retargeting and once I've retargeted them we're going to change them into animation montages so let me delete those as well sorry so like I said we want to make these into montages so we're just going to select them all by pressing one holding shift and pressing the last one right click, create, create and montage. Now we have all these animation montages like so, which means we can play them easily without having to make a load of different states in our state machine. And so once we've done that, we want to open up our animation blueprint to allow us to actually use animation montages. So for me, that's gonna be content, mannequin, animations, third person and MVP, but for you, this could be anywhere which you have your animation blueprint. And so we want to go to the anim graph here. So if you're in the state machine, we go to anim graph at the top up here, and then we're gonna move the state machine out a little bit come out of that and get a slot default slot which is just going to allow us to use animation montages and that's all we need to do in there it's very simple so then compile save and close that and now to set up the actual code for doing the dodges we want to go into our character blueprint so for me that's going to be content third person pp blueprints and third person character but again for you this could be first third what if you've named it and like i say i want to be doing this off of the space keyboard event but you can do this however you want. So if you press right mouse button or left mouse button or anything like that. However, I want to be doing it via space. So I'm going to drag the jump code out over here to give us some more space. And I'm just going to delete this comment for a second, move stop jumping out and jump out a little bit like that. Because I still want to be able to jump on space, but if we're moving, I want to dodge, not jump. So we're just going to hold down B, left click to get branch, plugging that into pressed there. True is going to go into jump and stop jumping can stay on released. The condition of this is we just want to simply see if we're moving. So we're going to right click and get velocity to get the speed of the player and then I'll move that out a bit and out of the return value we're going to get a vector length to get the actual speed and a float value and out of that we're going to get a float is less than a float and I'm just going to put a value of 1 plugging that into the condition and so what that does is it simply just means if the player isn't moving because if it's value less than 1 we're not going to be moving and if we're not moving, then we want to jump. And obviously released, we stop jump. And false, we want to play the roll animations. So I'm going to do this in a macro to keep it nice and organized. So over on the left here, I'm going to hit the plus macro. I'm just going to name this roll animation or dodge or anything that you like. And on the right, I'm going to add an input, naming this in. I'm going to change it to be an execution pin. And I'll add an output as well, naming it out, keeping it as an execution pin as well. I'm going to compile save that. I'm just going to move the outputs out just a little bit like so. And now we want to go back to the event graph and we can just drag and drop our roll animation macro onto false there. Or if we just put it there and connect it to false, you can see that if we press space and we're moving, we're going to go into this roll animation macro here instead of jumping, which is perfect. So now we're going to compile and I'm just going to select this, hit C to comment it, and I'll name this jump or dodge. And now we want to set up some booleans to decide which direction we want to dodge in. So I'm going to compile and save that and just find some empty space just next to it here. And I'm going to be doing this in a simple way by just using the keyboard events. 
So for example, if I want to move forward, I'm going to be using W. But for you, if you want to move forward via the analog stick or anything else, you can use that button. So like I say, I'm using W, so I'm going to right click, get a W keyboard event, and out of pressed, I want to set a boolean to be true. So I'm going to hit the plus variable there, naming this dodge forward. Or if you want, you can just call it forward, but I'm going to have dodge forward. And what I'm going to do is just select dodge, and copy that, so I can then just paste it when I'm making the other ones. And off of pressed, I'm going to set that to be true, and released, set it to be false. So make sure it's ticked for true there. So if I'm holding W, then I want to move forward. If I let go of W, I no longer want to dodge forward. So now let's set that up for all of our directions. So then I've got W and I've got S. So get an S keyboard event. So let me get that again, S keyboard event. And we'll do the same thing. So add a plus variable, dodge backwards or backward. And then press, we'll set that to be true. So ticked and released, we'll set it to be false again. And so this is just the simple way which I'm deciding which direction I want to dodge in. And then to the right of this, I'm going to get the A keyboard event which is obviously going to be dodging left, so I'll add another boolean, dodge left, and we'll set it there. Very simple process, very easy to understand. This is just letting the code know which direction we want to move in. And then we'll get the D keyboard event. And now we can do this slightly differently, we can just get is keyboard button pressed. However, I think this is just going to run slightly more efficiently and make more sense. So the final one is dodge right. And again, like I say, this is just easier for you to understand. Make sure that's true and false there. Now if I select this, hit C to comment it, I'll just name this one decide dodge direction like so. And that's perfect. So now we know which direction we want to dodge in and we're also going to be dodging here. So we can compile and save. And now the only thing left to do is to set up playing the animation. So we're going to go back into our role animation macro here and let's set up that code. So what we're going to do is we're going to be checking these booleans that we've just made. So I mentioned the word check, meaning we're going to use branches. So let's hold down B, left click to get a branch, plugging that into the in there. Condition of this, I want to have as dodge forward. So if we're moving forward. Underneath that, I'm going to hold down B, left click to get another branch, plugging that into the false of the first branch. Condition of this being dodge backwards. So we're going to check to see if we want to go forward first. If we don't, we're going to check to see if we want to go backwards. And if we don't, we're going to check to see if we want to go left or right. So we can select both of these branches, hit control C, Control V to duplicate them. I'll move them down a little bit. False will obviously go into that branch there, and those two are already connected. And then this one, I don't want to be forward, I want to be left. So I can just drag left onto there to change it, and then right on the backwards. So we're going to see if we want to go forward, backwards, left, or right. And so I've leaved, I'm leaving space here because we want to do something else as well. That something else is the diagonal movements. So this is going to be either just forward, back, left, or right. But what if we want to go diagonally? Let's go back up here, hold down B, left click to get another branch, plugging that into true of the dodge forward. So in the condition of this one, it's going to be dodge right. So it's essentially if we want to dodge forward and dodge right, we're going to go forward and right. But if it's not forward and right, we want to see if it's forward and left. So hold down B, left click, plug that into the false there, with this one as dodge. Dodge left, not dodge right, sorry. So like that. So if we want to go forward, we'll see if it's forward and right. If it's not, we'll see if it's forward and left. If it's not, then it's just forward. And then we'll do the same for the backwards down here. So we can just duplicate those branches, plugging that into true there, like so. And we can keep the right and left as it is, as it's done backwards and right, or backwards and left, or just backwards. So now let's do the animation part. So what we're going to do is just over here, we're going to right click and play anim montage, plugging that into the outputs there. For the target, we'll stay self. And for the anim montage, we're going to right click, promote a variable, and just name this dodge anim like so. And this just means we can use one play animation montage node here instead of having to get multiple ones. We can just set this variable and it will change dynamically. So that would be great. So now let's set this variable. So we'll start at the top. So dodge forward and dodge right. We're going to set that off of true to be forward right. So that will be roll forward right in place there. And then false, we're going to see if we're dodging forward and left. So we set our true to be forward left in place and a false we just want to go forward so we set that to be just forward so let me drag that down and then we'll set that to be just forward in place like so and what we can do is we can just connect these into play anim montage like that so we can set it to be the correct animation and then we're going to play that animation so what i'm going to do is actually just move these up a little bit as well 
so I have more space down here. So if it's not any of the forwards, I want to see if it's backwards. So dodge backwards, true. I'm going to see if it's dodge backward and right. If it is, I'm going to set that to obviously be backwards right. If it's not, I want to see if it's backwards and left. If it is, so off of true, I'm going to set that to be backwards left in place. And if it's not backwards left or backwards right, it's just backwards. Again, if you don't want just the backwards, you can leave that as it is. Just don't do anything. So just have it disconnected like that. However, I'm going to keep it in there just to show you. So that would just be backward in place like so. Again, connecting all of these up like that. And then finally, let's just do the left and right. And these ones are very simple. This doesn't need to check if it's forward or backwards as well. This is just simply left and right. So off of true, we can just set that to be left. So just roll left in place. And then right, we can simply set that to just be roll right in place. Like so, again, connecting those up like that. And these ones I'm gonna double click, give reroute nodes, just so they don't overlap the other nodes like that. And that works perfectly. We don't need to come out false of this because if it's not forwards, backwards, left or right, or any of the diagonals, we don't wanna be dodging anything. So we can just leave that as false. And now this code should work. So we set it up so we can dynamically change between forward, backwards, left and right, and the diagonal options as well by using these variables here. So you can double check that all of these are correct for how you want them, and we're gonna play it. So this looks like it should be working perfectly, and this is the code set up. So we can compile, save, and let's minimize and hit play to test this out. So if we press space, we're gonna jump like so. If we're walking forwards, press space, roll forwards. If we roll right, we'll go right. If we go left, we'll roll left. Backwards, we'll go backwards, but again, that animation isn't too great. And let's go test the diagonals as well. So this is looking great, working perfectly as well. So I think that'll be it for this video. If we've done everything we want to do, as you can see, we've set up the system is we can dynamically change which direction we want to roll in. And obviously this is gonna move the actual mesh as well. So this will work for actually dodging bullets or weapons of any kind in your games too. So we can dodge like this in any direction which we want, and we can still jump as well. So we can walk forwards, left, backwards or right, and even diagonal as well. If we press space while doing that, we will then also roll in that current direction as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.